going on everybody welcome back to the Stephen f austin ncaa 14 dynasty it's been a while since i've recorded um so i'll just update you guys on the recruiting we did get a few commits after that last uh that last victory against ulm we got brandon darby which i'm not even trying to scout guys completely so we won't know how good any of these guys are until they you know show up on campus we got Aaron Walker. I have a feeling he might be a decent player from Fort Worth, Texas. Jason Humphrey from Crystal City, Texas. And they're all JUCOs so far. And then we have oh, another JUCO, Joe Pickens. All right, so I did make some changes. to. Uh, so we're going six-minute quarters. We're going to, yeah, I just wanted to shorten it up a little bit. Episodes were running a little too long, taking too long to edit. Um, but as you guys can see, we play Michigan. <laughs> as you can see, we are overmatched. And uh, I'm not even going to look at their talent pool because I'm sure they uh, have 80s and 90s all over the place. But we will look at their coaching philosophy just to get an idea of what type of game plan, whoops, game plan that we can get away with. So Michigan's head coach, uh, damn, what's his real name? I forget. <laughs> but anyways, Kyle Peoples. Uh, they run the multiple offense, which is always hard to stop, especially when you don't have a lot of talent on defense. So we are probably going to be overmatched against these guys. But they they play aggressive, and they tend to lean towards more towards the run. And then defensively, they run the 4-3, aggressive. So I'm going to have to have those screens ready. They're going to be looking to stop the run, so maybe I can get some passing game going, but... We're in Ann Arbor, so Attaway is probably going to be rattled. Well, let's jump into this. All right, so we're here in the big house. This is obviously our first real test. I thought UL Monroe was going to be a decent test. We ended up blowing those guys out, but Michigan, we're overmatched. We have the crowd against us of about 100,000 people. <laughs> Work is cut out here. And they have a good pass offense, rush offense. They're balanced. That's going to be tough to defend. One thing I got to say is this is definitely good preparation for some of the big games we'll have in the SEC this season. Mississippi State, LSU, uh, Ole Miss, you know, teams like that. It's definitely going to be a challenge. So hopefully, this, hey, we have some fans up there. Zoom in on them. Hey, Mom, I'm on TV. Like I said, six-minute quarters. We get the ball first. Um, I mean, game plan-wise, you know, they're looking to defend the run. It's probably going to be... The only way we stay in this game is if we conserve the, the clock, but at the same time, we have to convert first downs. We have to hit the short passes. We can't have drops. So actually, while I think of it, let me put on conservative and big hits, conservative, strip ball. All right, so it's second and six. We're here at, what, the 29-yard line? I'm going to move Foster in motion, try and get him open. They're definitely running a zone. Nice. Good job, Foster. Looks like we're down to the 39-yard line. We got the first down. That's one step in the right direction right there. Let's get a drive going. So it's second and eight. We're here at the 41-yard line. And Mosey is completely open. Of course, they have the speed to get over there quickly. Good catch, Mosley. Yeah, there you go. Let's go. That's a first down. I didn't see what yard line we got. Oh, 47 yard line. Oh, come on. 74. You got to hold your block, bro. I mean, all it takes is one tackle for loss, and I, I, I just don't have confidence in my offense, you know? Get this right here, and yeah, here comes my controller is vibrating. Looks like they're playing man. I think I have the out route. Nope, but I do have Foster. Good job, Foster ran <laughs> someone over. Let's go. <laughs> that dude got posterized. So we're here at the 31-yard line. I'm going to try the screen. Of course, I don't think it's going to work. I'm not seeing any blitzing, but let's try. Oh, yep, they brought the blitz. Come on. Oh, my goodness, Gus. We had the blocks. He's just too slow, but... The guy behind him is even slower. Try this jet sweep. They are not running a man. Wait, no, maybe they are. 
I'm going to slide my uh, offensive line to the left. Let's see if Mosley can get some yardage here. Nice. Oh, oh. Touchdown. Let's go. Good. S. Marquise Mosley. I don't want to cut some more. I've been a bad boy. Yeah, we got a lead here in the big house. Now, of course, the challenge is our defense stopping the Wolverines. Can we do it? We shall see. So 11 plays, 71 yards, over four minutes taken off uh, the clock. If every drive is like that for us, we're going to win this game. Oh, option. Come on, get over there. What the fudge? <laughs> oh, man, that was a missed opportunity right there. We should have had him in the backfield. All right. Fight. Oh, dude, give me the animation. Come on. Oh, I read it too. I read it a little too late. Ooh, touchdown. Damn. 33 got beat. I think that's Valier. Well, that's the end of the first quarter. <laughs> Gus is going to have too many on. The fudge. <laughs> I am going to audible. Let's see if Gus can get the get this first down for us. Oh my goodness, Gus! What the fudge was that? I have a feeling they're running at us. No. Easy touchdown. Re uh, Valerie gets beat again. All right, now we're playing from behind. That was quick. What, the hell's going what a horrible decision by me. But that, that pass, oh, airway oh, oh, and that's a pick six. Wow, this game turned quickly on us. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, our guys are rattled. That pass was super inaccurate, but also a bad decision too. Plaster actually has the impact star for this game. So I guess let's see what Plaster has. Okay, we got the first. That's all that matters. Ah! <laughs> he gets hurt. <laughs> Dude, one hit. One hitter quitter? Jeez. Oh man. Good catch, Crawford. Whoa. Good play, dude. I I read that corner wrong and I thought he was gonna turn his hips, but no, he played that very well. Oh wow. I I am a doofus. I completely forgot that we need to be in hurry up. I'm not Stupid used to this uh, six, six minute quarters yet. So hopefully we can make this field goal. I have a bad feeling about it. And he nails it. Nice. So we're down 21 to 10 going into the half. Um, obviously they're killing us with their offense. And then defensively, uh, well, I, Offensively, on our side, on our offense, we're not. We had a very f good first drive, and then that last drive of the half was good, but uh, we had a couple of mistakes in those middle two drives. One was an interception, which turned into a pick six. The previous drive before that, uh, Gus Johnson screwed up a couple times. But, I mean, at least we're competing with these guys a little bit. Oof, someone just got pancaked. Oh my goodness, he's he's gone. <laughs> yeah, that dude's gone. Good grief. We could not get off the blocks. Someone got pancaked into oblivion. We're here at the 25. Uh, we have to overcome three scores to get back in this game, and uh, I don't think we have the offense to do that. Beautiful catch. Tough catch across the middle. Good job, Mosley. That dude's having himself a game today. In terms of Stephen F. Austin standards, he's having a good game. We have not passed the ball well at all this season. So, or run the ball. Or pass protected. Or run protected. Nice lot. All right. We just need two more scores, and then we're back in this game. Actually, I'm going to go for the two. Beautiful. Got the two. Good job, Gus. Nice. So we're only down 10 now. Now our defense needs to uh, step it up, but 
We I don't think we have the horses to stick with these guys. I just don't think we do. Oh wow, dude. Dude, that was a beautiful cut pack. Oh, this running back's a beast. We had him shut down on that right side. And then he does that. Oof, what a cut. Good grief. All right, so it's third and five. We're here at what the 48 yard line. If we get this stop, we stand a good chance. Okay, you gotta make it. Okay, of course we don't. Of course. Good grief, dude. How many broken tackles does this guy have? This is conservative tackle we have on. This is insane. Aubrey makes a play. Wow, okay. 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 <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought that dude was wide open. Good play, Aubrey. Good grief. Well, if we can score here, we're back in this football game. Nice. See if uh, they blitz me. Oh, they're giving me a look that's going to be hard to read, but let's hope. Nice. Nice. Good job, Gus. Good job. Good job, offensive line, too. They blocked really well on that play. That was a perfectly executed screen. Well, we're here at the end of the third quarter. Let's see if we can make the comeback. I am I have my doubts, but Aubrey made a beautiful play. So, get your fours up. Fours up. Let's try the read option. Oh, perfectly balanced, as all things should be. 20-20. Hopefully, I have a lot across the middle. Touchdown, let's go. Okay, we're back in this football game. Defense, you gotta get a stop, man. You gotta get a stop. We're within three with the extra point. Believe in you. Probably run to the right. Yep. And that's game over. Damn. There's nothing I can do about that. This is game. If we can, uh, can't get this right here, we're donezo. He drops it. That's game. And we lose our first game of the season against number 11, Michigan, in the big house. I mean, I think we were competitive. Uh, we did get a passing game going there for a little bit, but their, their defensive backs are just way too talented. Our receivers just don't have the speed. Our quarterback doesn't have the accuracy to throw it into those tight windows that they're forcing us into. But uh, I think we competed pretty well in this game. Let's look at the stats. So now we're up to level three, which means we can max out our uh, scouting. That's one positive that came out of this ass whooping. We split our passing attempts between Plaster and uh, Attaway. Uh, Plaster had the worst uh, completion percentage, but he had the two touchdown throws. Um, Attaway played better overall, other than that interception. But, uh, I mean, our passing game wasn't fantastic regardless. Gus Johnson had a decent game. Uh, running the ball, you know, against a, a, a front that is going to dominate our offensive line, our front, you know. So, overall, I think our running game was decent enough. Uh, Mosley had that one nice run. For 21 yards um, it was a decent rushing performance not, not like I expect Gus Johnson led us in receiving not only receptions but receiving yards uh, Brooks dropped that what could have made a difference in the game I mean they did pull away in those last couple minutes it was a close game up until then um, but yeah we had Gus Johnson go for six receptions 71 yards Foster Four receptions, 37 yards, and then Crawford, three for 34. And then Lott had our two touchdowns. Uh, he was out on that one play where Brooks dropped that pass. And then in blocking, nothing. Defensively, Caleb Nelson led the way in tackles. Uh, tackles for loss, we had Aubrey and Nelson with our only two tackles for loss. Wow, no sacks. Uh, we had that one interception by Jordan Aubrey, which was a fantastic play by that guy. And no deflections. So, uh, I mean, the, this is going to be one of the tougher opponents that I play all season. We performed okay, you know, all things considered. So Barry McCockiner is a now a level three. Now we can uh, 
max out our scouting. All right, so I advanced to the next week, and we got a commitment from a cornerback, a one-star cornerback. These are all one-star guys. But uh, Thomas Myers, um, I mean, hopefully he can come in and, you know, come, uh, play for us right away. I don't know how good he is. Well, as you can see, we are returning home back to uh, Nacogdoches to play the uh, Bowling Green State Falcons. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you all next time. Keep chopping wood. Young